in our International Milking Shorthorn Junior Two-Year-Old class. If we could have our first and second place juniors please step forward. Our second place junior is entry 1321, Blue Spruce RR Maya's Macy EXP, exhibited by Blue Spruce Farm Ashley Hovermail of New Holland, Ohio. Our first place junior is entry 1325, Cherrywood Mitzer Cat EXP, exhibited by Ryan Benter of Brownstown, Indiana. Our bread and own winner is entry 1337, GMC Red Reuben Passion, exhibited by Justin John Clark of GMC Farm, Cornish Flat, New Hampshire. In our open show, our third place entry is entry 1330, Cherrywood K. Clay's Reuben EXP, owned by Brad and Jess Gavanalock, Halpin Farms, and Matt Mackinson, Kempton, Illinois. In second, we have 1333, Michael's Nitro Chili, owned by Lincoln Gibbs, Epworth, Iowa. And our winning entry in Best Utter is entry 1338, North Star's Mega Peanut EXP, owned by Corey Salzal, Eden Valley, Minnesota. Judge Harbaugh, your reasons. Thank you, Laura. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a really nice class of Milking Shorthorn Junior two-year-olds here, but a handy winner here in the first cow for us today. A cow that's just so much longer and cleaner down through her head and neck today. She's cleaner down through her brisket, and she is the best uttered cow in the class. And she also has the advantage today over the cow in second, it being just a little deeper in her rear rib and flank. But this second cow, you really admire her balance. She's a long frame cow with a beautiful udder in her own right, just not that overall height, width, and extension that we have in the rear rudder the cow that wins the class but this second cow for me is just a little more modern today than our cow coming along in third for me she shows us a lot of balance she, when you get these cows in line right behind them she's just a little higher and wider right at the top of the rear rudder today the second cow shows us more definition of seam down through the bottom of the udder today than the big powerful cow coming along in third just a tremendous tremendous frame cow in third you love her length of frame that tremendous deep depth of fore and rear rib that she possesses today but when you get them in line just not that overall height width turn and fullness of the rear udder that we have in the cows that lead the class but that third cow uses that advantage she has today in depth of fore rib depth of rear rib and flank and length of frame you also give the third cow the advantage staying being just a bit harder down her top than the cow coming along in fourth a very nice uttered cow in fourth a cow you like the length of frame today she pulls her pins and gets her tail head up a little bit but a cow that's got a beautiful udder when you get right in and analyze it. And she uses her advantage today in width at the top of the rear at her definition of seam to place over the cow coming along in fifth. And then fifth over sixth, we have a cow that just has so much more frame today. She's deeper and wider through the floor of her chest, longer in her barrel, and uses and carries her width out through her hooks, pins, and thurls to place over the youngest cow in the class coming along next. We have a heifer that's born in July and just recently fresh next, but you really love the quality that she has today and a heifer that's only going to get better with time. Congratulations.